name is Shante Grant. I'm a student at George Brown College in Toronto, Ontario, and I'm a part of the Food Nutrition Management Program. So today we're just going to be talking a little bit about fiber. Specifically speaking, fiber in relation to the elderly population. This is a topic that not everyone might be aware of or even know about, so if you are a caregiver for a senior or a senior yourself, hello, <laughs> it's great to stay informed about this topic. Now, just to kind of mention some, um, some numbers, some important reference numbers, the daily recommended intake for women over the ages of 51 is 22 grams of fiber a day. The daily recommended intake for men over the age of 51 is 28 grams a day. So just something to keep in mind when you're meal planning or going grocery shopping. Now, it's very simple to tell someone just to eat more fiber. Um, you know, just go eat more fiber, go find a way to cook it. There are certain aspects about this community that we have to keep in mind. Aspects such as cognitive aspects, mobility aspects, um, financial aspects, social aspects. Does this person have the ability to stand and cook for a long period of time? There are recipes that have like 20 steps and maybe they can't do, they can't stand that long. That's why it's important to find simple recipes that are still exciting, still delicious, and you know, adapt it to their lifestyle. So all of that to be said, I have a quick and easy little recipe uh, that's high in fiber and I'm excited to show you guys it. I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, so today we're gonna to be making quick and easy avocado rotini pasta. I'm first just gonna kind of go over the mise en place here. So firstly, we have 400 grams of rotini pasta, uncooked, obviously. And then we have 200 grams of baby spinach. Make sure to wash this. Um, we also have about a handful of unstemmed washed parsley. We have two limes, two garlic cloves. 60 grams of nuts. I chose to go with almonds and cashews, mix them 30 grams each. One tablespoon of olive oil, and then I'm gonna to be topping off um, the pasta with nutritional yeast, which kind of tastes like Parmesan, but you can also use Parmesan. Um, the stars of the dish will be these two avocados. They're gonna be in our dressing. Um, you can choose to go with smaller ones if you want to. We're gonna be seasoning this with salt and pepper. Um, and yeah, I'm also going to be using a Nutribullet here to make the pasta. We're going to be using a pasta pot as well. Um, I think a rule of thumb is 100 grams of pasta equals about one liter of water. So make sure to uh, kind of do that accordingly and salt the water. Always salt the water. Salty as the sea. So um, in terms of the three main fiber stars in this dish, we're going to start with avocados. Avocados are a great source of fiber. Per one medium avocado has about 10 grams of fiber in it. Um, avocados are also a great source of healthy fats, monounsaturated fats specifically. Per one medium avocado, you have about 15 grams of monounsaturated fat. Monounsaturated fats uh, can help with reducing LDL cholesterol in your body, which is great for heart health as well. So next we have spinach. According to the USDA, uh, raw spinach has about 4.4 grams of fiber per 200 grams. That's as much as we have here. Spinach is also a great source of non-heme iron, which is a plant-based iron. So if you're vegetarian, this is great for you. Lastly, we have almonds. Um, almonds are also really high in fiber. They have about 3.5 grams per 23 nuts and are a great source of protein. So once again, super uh, vegetarian friendly, vegan friendly meal. Um, it's really important to know what foods are high in fiber, especially if you're trying to increase fiber in your diet or if you're trying to help someone else increase fiber in their diet. So you can start to slowly kind of add such ingredients into your kitchen repertoire. Now let's get cooking. So I'm just kind of whipping up my sauce while I'm waiting for my pasta to boil and get ready. Um, so I have my avocados in here, my two avocados, my two garlic cloves, my spinach in here, my olive oil, my one tablespoon, and then I seasoned it with salt and pepper to my liking. Um, feel free to season it however you prefer things seasoned. I also used about half, I squeezed about half a lime in here as well. I was having a bit of a tricky time with the texture. So if you are, I would suggest adding tablespoon by tablespoon of water just to get the consistency right. You want the consistency to be creamy, no chunks. And once you're done blending this up, uh, make sure to not take the lid off because it will oxidize and the avocados will turn brown. So you want to kind of, you know, avoid that as much as possible. The lime juice will also slow down the oxidization process, so you don't have to worry about that too much, but don't take the lid off until 
everything's ready to be incorporated. All right, so my water has now come to a boil. I just added in my pasta. I'm just turning it down a little bit since it's already gotten to a boil. Don't forget to salt your water, as I mentioned before. I'm gonna come back in about two minutes and check on the pasta. Um, it's gonna take about 10 minutes to cook. I like my pasta a little al dente, so I always have a little spoon and I take out one pasta and check on the side. All right, now I'm making my little crumble that's gonna go on top. I am just chopping up my um, almonds and cashews. I've already gone and chopped up the parsley. Make sure to rem remove the stems. So I'm just gonna finish this up. I'm gonna be mixing the nuts in with the parsley. Um, it's just gonna be like a little crumble that's going on top. Fresh parsley does a lot for a dish. Always remember a sharp knife is the best thing you can have in the kitchen because if you have a dull knife, you could be at risk of your knife slipping and cutting your hand. Awesome, that's good. Just a nice little, a nice little consistency, pea-like. Okay, so I'm gonna add it into the parsley bowl, my nuts. All right, just gonna add salt and pepper in as well. Just as much as you would like. Just a little crumble we're making, mix it up. Always do a taste test too, to make sure there's enough lime, salt and pepper. Awesome, there's a really fresh smell coming from it. Oh, we can leave this at the side. All right, so my pasta is cooked to al dente. I strained it and um, I mean, it's still a little hot, so be careful. I'm not gonna pour it into a mixing bowl. Kept its form there a little bit. Break that up a little bit. And I'm going to add in my sauce. So, you want to serve this right away because you don't want to lose the temperature of the pasta. And get all of that sauce in there. So now I'm just going to mix it up. We are about done. We have everything incorporated here, mix it all well. Make sure to serve this right away if you want it to be warm. It also could be served cold, totally okay. Make a little pasta salad. Uh, so we have our sauce that we blended, then we have our pasta that we cooked, and then we have our little crumble. So that's about it. This is a great dish for someone who has mobility issues, for a caregiver who's busy and always on the go, something that is high in fiber. Super important to have a little repertoire of healthy dishes that you can just whip up quickly. So we are going to serve this now. Get this out of here because I deserve it. Worked hard, lots of fiber in here, which is great. I'm just gonna top this with the crumble. It's nice and fresh. The lime and the parsley go great together. I'm using nutritional yeast, which tastes a little bit like Parmesan. Feel free to use Parmesan. This is just a great vegan option. Also, nutritional yeast is super high in B12s. And for one quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast, you get about three grams of fiber. It's not the highest, but it is still, it just does still have a fiber presence in it. Just a little sprinkle there. And I was, I'm topping with a little bit of lime, a little bit of extra lime. There was two limes that I mentioned in the recipe and the extra is just for topping. So feel free. The more lime you add, the less of a chance it'll brown. So that's really important. And we are all done. That was it. Quick and easy avocado pasta, uh, high in fiber. There's about 10 grams of fiber per one serving. And the whole recipe, um, can serve about four people, which is awesome too, because you have leftovers. So thank you so much.